everybody and welcome once again to all fabric 3 today we are going to carry on with the automation of scrap boxes because that's going to give us a lot of stuff and you'll also no notice i've got an omnius banner there because i became the hero of the village and as you can see i didn't intend to become hero of the village i just forgot to drink some milk when i went to the village and i didn't do anything the iron golem sorted out all the pillagers for the fire rate village did suffer a little bit but um, and I haven't taken much of advantage of it. I also forgot to do something with the battery box and the drill. So let's have a quick look at those to start with. Well, as you can see, I actually put the battery box down here and I put the drill, basic drill into it, so it charges it up. So this is now a usable tool. Uh, it's just a mining tool, really. It's just like a, a pickaxe. I'm not sure whether we can enchant it. Yeah, to be honest with you but all we can then come down here and we can just use it as a drill so for example like that and that's all it does <clears throat> then i think the advanced one has different modes and so if you look at this the uses of this particular drill we can make an advanced drill and this one i think we can do or um mining with this one or or excavating so it's got to, it requires a lithium battery which isn't Possible. two aluminium plates and an empty cell in an assembly machine will make this <clears throat> so maybe we should have a look at making this assembly machine what's the requirements for that uh, this is probably the hard one actually i need four aluminium plates i, I can however sorry my voice is going a bit strange do some more stuff i also had didn't look at this either this is the um uh the advanced turtle you get a larger display and it's in color as you can see so it helps when you're trying to look at programs and in here i didn't show you this either there is another program in here and they do keep up there was a bug i did a, uh, a drop up instead of doing a drop when it was completing its stuff so here we've now got two stacks and we'll have three stacks of this by the time i get around to doing the next step and in here the cop is keeping up nicely as it happens if so as long as i sleep because we're using solar panels this is quite happily keeping up with the rate of cobblestone generation at the recycler so which is great i'll get stuck on that corner as it happens this was just so i could do a little bit more automation put a hopper into this uh, furnace and then the, the stuff comes out on the top like that so let's get started so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the scrap initiator so that was one scrap box, four iron plates, and two dirt, and two electric electronic circuits makes this scrap initiator. Let's get, and then we get an, uh, a reward for that. It's actually not in the quest book, this particular one. Let's just have a look at the quest book. I think I've got it with me. It's probably, yes, it's here. Let's put it in the middle and open it up. So I've just started the game. So let's click here for quests. There's no completed quests, as you can see. Let's open up this, because I'm going to carry on a little bit more with um, Tech Reborn. Because it's that, it does get tough. I'd like to do the hot and bothered one, which is uh, an advan an industrial solar panel. And its tier is medium. It might mean I need to change cables a about a bit. We'll see. I'd also like to do this, spin me right round. So this is a in this is an industrial centrifuge where the tear is low, so that's good. Um because we can still use our copper cables for tier, low tier. I think medium we have to go to gold. Um and the next one up is even higher. And we probably can also do this. In fact, the industrial electrolyzer. I made a mistake last time I said I made lots of mistakes last time, we're not gonna go into that. It was a bit of a disaster, but Let's have a look at, um, I haven't done it, Tech Reborn. And we'll have a look for centrif industrial. In fact, it's a good start, just industrial. So we can get the industrial blast furnace grinder centrifuge. I looked at this recipe, I saw this, and I didn't look up here to see refined iron. So refined iron we can do, no problem whatsoever. Advanced circuits we've already done, that's no problem. Extractor, we've already made that. So we need, need the only bit that's going to be tough in this is this advanced machine frame. So that requires these advanced alloy plates and carbon plates. Now carbon plates are made from carbon mesh. Now we got some of those as a reward last time, but the recipe for those is two carbon fibers 
like this, which we put together makes a carbon mesh. The carbon fibers are basically four coal dust. So we just grind up coal and we'll get that. But you can actually grind up coal blocks. So if you look at the recipe for that one, it doesn't actually tell me as it happens. Let's have a look at this one. Tech reborn. Okay. So if we do the grinder, industrial centrifuge will do it for us. So once we made this, we can start to get it as a as a byproduct from netherite dust. Oh, that's actually good. Um, and the grinder. So you can actually grind up blocks of coal, and that makes nine, which is actually what I've been doing. I was grinding up some coal. So I've got plenty of this sort of stuff already prepared. Now the next one of the, along the line of this was the was the alloy. Now that's actually there's about one recipe for this at the moment. So let's go back into here and look at this one that we can actually do. So this we need to make advanced alloy ingots, which we then through the compressor and compress them. And the advanced alloy ingots we have to smelt these mixed metal ingots. Another bit of a rabbit hole here. So this one is refined iron, bronze and tin ingots well we can do all of that that's one thing we can do and in fact that's the only one we can do because this is refined iron brass because we need zinc for brass tin we can do this one's invar we can't do that because we haven't got nickel yet bronze and aluminium bronze is no problem um that's just copper and tin and the same with this all the rest of them we can't do if we could actually get to invar then we could actually get five per ingot which is actually a lot better so would be quite a good return. So what's the difference between inv okay, invar and nickel? Invar is basically just iron and nickel. So we have to get to that. So we can make these. So let's get have a look at the, what I've actually been doing on here. I've got some recipes set up. I've, this one's the wire milk. Can't do that yet. That would make life a bit cheaper. We can make these here like this. So I've got tin, bronze, and that. So we can make some of those. We've got four. And that's enough to make one machine frame. This one here, I've got four of these, which we can make some carbon meshes. Um, and that also is enough for one machine frame. But I've already prepared it, so let's have a look. Here I've got three basic machine frames. You remember the recipe for that. That's just refined iron in a, in a, in a chest formation. Um, and we've got these advanced alloy plates, so we can make three of these. Great. So I can do it. So now I've got, we are now evolving. Yes, that's true. And this one here is an extractor. We've done that refining it's no problem advanced circuits no problem so we can then the only thing this needs now is two of these advanced and we should get the industrial centrifuge like this and this one here is also prepared this one is two extractors uh iron plates no big deal just compressing iron that the ingots does that and then this advanced frame will give us the industrial electrolyzer from tetra born but that's a medium tier machine so maybe i have to upgrade something for that we shall see this by the way was just a basic machine frame that's the reason for that and there, i've just made it in can't put it in there it's getting full so let's put that out, out of the way we want that one let's just can't put that anywhere let's just oh dear where i'm going to put this i need to do some let's yeah i can put it in here I need to do some more stuff, so let's do that as it happens. I haven't, I haven't got this prepared yet, but we'll need a chest. And I think I put chests in here now. Good, we've got some chests. I'll make two. I'm going to make some iron chests. So I've got reasonable amount of iron in here, I think 64. Well, reasonable amount. <laughs> Not that much really for these days, but and we're going to make an iron chest. So first of all, take these chests like this and we'll just wrap them around with some iron and that should give us two iron chests and I think this is actually one of the I should, should double click that and get those out of there and then we're going to make a gold chest so with a bit of luck oh I haven't got quite enough gold there let's just smelt some up we can certainly make one in fact we probably can make a diamond chest as well so let's put the iron chest in here and then we'll just wrap those around with gold and we should make a gold chest and then we get one iron chest now these are both i think these are both quests we'll have a look in a second let's just put them down they don't join up together as like normal chests but this one's now got twice as many slots so this is it's 27 so this must be 54 and this one's got three times as many so this is probably good for the scrap box initiator that's why i've actually decided to build this one um let's 
this pick it up I don't have to use that pick for doing that let's just get a cheap pick I've probably got some stone picks in here because rewards from the the villagers are throwing stone picks at me so let's just dig this up like that let's have a look at the uses of this so we can with six last two diamonds we can make a diamond chest I'm going to do it even though I've got that not that many diamonds I get the right place those we've got enough to start with I actually found a few more when I was doing my stuff um resource collecting I'm obviously not going to show you those and I'm, I also said I was going to go and do some crop we need six pieces of this don't we that's seven too many doesn't matter let's upgrade this one but while I'm doing that let's just shove this into here uh, these into here so they can get smelted right diamond chest so let's a look at the uses of the gold chest so we get our diamond chest let's just put it down actually where we want to put it so let's do that it is night time and I think we're okay for mobs though no big deal I've actually labeled the mobs at the moment you may see, notice that they've got a sign on so here we're going to put the scrap box initiator let's do that so that's the industrial centrifuge scrap box initiator in fact I should have a sleep because otherwise there won't be enough power for the recycler so let's have a quick sleep and I'll be back in a second right so now <clears throat> we need some power to this of course and then we also need a chest on the other side of it I just got enough room to put a chest in here between the bamboo so let's just put the diamond chest down here and then have a look at that and you'll see I've got a lot more storage probably another it's probably four times that of a standard chest because we're going to get a lot of variety of items out of here as we know from the previous episode so now this has got nearly three stacks but this needs some power I'll just get some cable and I'll be back in a second so as you can see I just run some cable from there to there and we've got some power in here I'm going to have to reorganize this I have realized um, because I think it's a good idea with with solar panels to have those going to through the battery box so it charges up the battery box and then you'll use the solar power and then the night time this will kick the battery box will then power the machines that's an intention so what we need to do then is configure the sides so this is the input side as usual it's on this side we're going to pull and we're going to set to auto pull here like this and on the right hand side we're going to set it to be oh wrong an output side I don't think that's correct hold on a second let me just get rid of that one I have to do it on this one here what do we got we've got a salt peter okay so we want to push on the output side here auto output and then that's going to work and it's going to start sticking stuff into here let's have a look and we've still already got a whole load of stuff coming through again so so interesting bits uh another guy has come along what have we got here <laughs> gigabits 101's head so there must be some three of them jungle sapling TNT, rail, all sorts of bits and pieces are going to come through here. And we'll just let this run. Oh, sorry, I've just got to kill these guys. I'll be back in a second. Okay, they're gone. Uh, so this is just about filled it with all sorts of stuff. Maybe <laughs> you can get minecarts with the chest. That's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> Mus, Mus, Mod Mus's 50s head. So obviously one of the, a thing. Um, <clears throat> small pile of diamond dust, as we can see emerald dust these all have uses the uses of emerald dust i think is probably we can compress it compress comp implosion compressor which does what does that do makes di oh, it makes emeralds out of four that's probably not so much use is it <laughs> 16 tnt i'm not sure there's much benefit from that because you're getting those from grinding the metal in the first place and there are all of these Oh, this one produces all sorts of stuff. So 29 emerald dust plus an empty cell will produce aluminium, beryllium cells, silicon cells, and compressed air. So there's a lot of things which are coming in here. Oh my goodness, this is already full. Uh, <laughs> how many How many more pieces? Of, that's empty. That's right. So maybe we just about can sort this out. Let's just sort it out. Here's the sort button. Oh, that's my sort button. There's no sort in the chest here. Um, that's interesting 
Yeah, it's full. Probably can't do anything until we empty some out. So we've got all sorts of bits and pieces. Let's press press R in here, and that should. Oh no, you can't sort it when you've got no spaces. Okay. Anyway, we've got all sorts of bits and pieces. I'll sort those out in my own time. But we, you can see different types of saplings, sugar cane, slime balls, endstone dust, apple blaze powder. That's great. Because that now allows us to go and get a magnet. So I'm going to let that run. And I'm also going to put down the uh, industrial. Let's just put it down here. I think it will be all right here to put it down. Uh, the industrial centrifuge. So I just need to put down a piece of wire first of all. I'm going to make a magnet with this. Because it's one of, the, it's one of my goals was to do that. I guess I've got some wire down here. So if I can put... Not the electrolyzer. I don't think that will work. We can try it. Maybe that's worth trying. Let's just put it down here, for example. I'll just put down this. And then I'll reorganize the machines. Now, in the old Minecraft, any of the industrial craft machines, including Tech Reborn, um, when you broke them, you just got back the machine block. So that's working just fine. And this one here also working okay even though it's a higher tier so let's just put something in here we've probably got some ore so it's going to get an ore out of here somewhere or other and let's have a look bulk site or let's try that one there might be a problem i'm probably going to run out of power when i start to do this does that do anything zero percent um no um, let's have a look at the industrial centrifuge all right let's have a look at the industrial centrifuge and see the uses of that one blast furnace centrifuges so all right you can use it as a to get a distillation tower but this one here we can make okay those are very different things with methane basalt dust will give us different things from there meat will give us this that's all that's not so what i'm looking for at the moment there must be a good reason for doing this. Bread will give us methane cells. Well, obviously, that's a fuel for something or other. Um, 64 biscuits. Here we go. Now, dark ashes will give us ashes. Dirt will give us sand, clay, and gravel. Maybe useful. I don't think so. Electrum dust will give us gold and silver. That's no use whatsoever. A golden apple. An enchanted gold will give us 64 gold plus methane cell. So that's so exciting. Ender eye dust will give us ender eye pearl. No, I'm not interested in that one. What have we got in here that looks like it's going to be really in gold? Nope, nope. Not so interesting with those ones. Well, iron. Right, okay. Iron will give us tin and nickel dust. So two iron dust will give us that. So that's one way to get this. What have we got here? Lazarite dust. Oh, that was actually quite an important one. But we need four lapis for that one. Here we've got lead dust, which is going to make small piles. That's very inefficient. Marble dust will produce magnesium dust and calcium. I've got any use for this. They make all of these things which we don't actually have any uses for. Marble dust will make... Yes, and then the uses of that one... rolling machine we can roll into this one and the use of that we actually do have use for windmills okay windmill now they are a medium tier machine to make power i guess that's probably a good thing so maybe we can do that so what do we need for that one we needed three of these ones we go back so that was made from a rolling machine okay that rolled it out and the recipe for that one it was four or it was an industrial exercise of centrifuge with marble dust okay well we can get we've got marble dust there's marble around i should have some blocks in here i don't know how many blocks of marble i've got four all right i need more than that so you see what the use of that is i'm pretty sure we could do other materials as well but maybe i'm wrong maybe we have to do it in electrolyzer let's just try that on the electrolyzer where's the input here no nope. Anyway, that's an aside. I'll look at that next time, and we'll go cover that next time. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, um, a magnet, because that's another quest. 
I've actually got five emerald uh, ender pearls because they do come around from time to time, the endermen, and we do get some bits and pieces. So, obviously, with all these bits coming in, I'm going to have to go and start applied energy sticks. So let's just craft these in together like that, and then we make our ender pearl. Well, I have ender, sorry, and then we can make the magnet from here. So look, that's the ki kibby one. Try again. I don't think it was too expensive except for that with some red dye and five pieces of iron. That's no big deal. Let's get the five pieces of iron out. I've got those already. Red dye is just two red flowers. Let's get those out. Yeah, two poppies so we can grind up. No problem whatsoever. You always get those. They're all over the place. And let's make up the magnet. And now we've got a magnet. Great. So now we can shift in that latch shift it and then it's active and then we can put shift click that away and we should be able to put that into one of our no I thought it had a slot we could put it into um, not there no there's no slot for it anyway what is the advantage of that one is i'll probably move that because it looks like there's a man over there I'll, I'll be back in a minute when it's daytime so magnets as usual you bound to know what they do just like click that and then you, everything just gets picked up and it's straight into your inventory which is very handy i don't think it uses any sort of power or anything negative so we can just simply harvest all the crops without having to worry about picking stuff up afterwards which is great in fact that will do for now so next plans um i th I'm, just gonna, I'm going to sort this stuff out i'm going to get us prepared to go to the nether because it looks very much like the nether is the place to be uh in order to get to uh, start to do um applied energetics let me have a look at the uses of this because i really haven't been very used to the bulk site pulverize it so we can pulverize it to dust the industrial grinder which ah yes i didn't make the industrial grinder did i that's a little bit more expensive <laughs> we need one of these no such big problem a grinder that's no problem we can take the existing grinder and an industrial electrolyzer we've made one of those but we'd have to make a second one and these diamond drills uh, it's basically four diamonds plus a diamond four diamonds plus a diamond plus steel we haven't made any steel yet that's no big deal either we can just take some iron and some coal dust and we just put those into the alloy smelter that's all do that because why not so let's make 12 like that and that should start to make alloy if it's not working I have to figure out why and maybe I need dust let's have a look at the recipe for the steel I guess it might be iron dust as it happens sometimes you get dust and sometimes you don't and I have got some iron dust here prepared oh and it also depends on which mod you're talking about as well no, it's not making some steel for me. Coal dust. Tech reborn, tech reborn. So we'll look for steel then. That was the industrial grinder, wasn't it? Uh, use of that one, we should be able to make this. And then it was this one here. Steel from tech reborn, the recipe for that. Okay, blocks, we can do that. Blasting, we can. This dust here. Blast furnace. Various different. Blast furnaces, so we can just have to blast steel. This and the recipe for that one is crafting up steel nuggets, infusing. Okay, grinding. Yeah, we can grind it. That's fairly obvious. Scrap box, macerator. Okay, so there are, are no tech reborn machines for doing this. You'll see something's just set on fire. <laughs> just gonna put it out. Again, maybe I just have to put a slab on top of this. I don't, as long as it doesn't burn the chest, it's no big deal. It goes about one block out, or two blocks out, it happens. So I have to figure out that. Or I might have to start another mod because um, it's highly likely I'm going to have to do that fairly soon anyway. So maybe we'll do that for next 
next time i want to actually no i want to do crop toasts next time because we need to go to the savannah and there's some very attractive biomes between here and there so i'm just about finished let's have a look at the um this because we've got the industrial electrolyzer we can claim the reward we get 12 beer and at some empty cells we can do that one we should also be able to claim this reward as well so empty cells obviously somewhere we're going towards this one is what do we have to make for this one industrial grinder okay that would be the next machine on the list which is what we would like to do anyway i would also like to do this machine at some stage the basic chainsaw um not done yet so that's them all claimed in here and we should have one in kibby because we've got that uh, magnet so let's just open up that one and claim this reward so we get 12 gold and uh three rubber saplings i'm not interesting order as it happens so the next one along here would be start the timer so we need a redstone timer probably actually easier to do than the other one so that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it next time as i said it's going to be croptosis so until then i wish you all the best bye for now <laughs>